so welcome to our next episode today we will show how to level a spectrometer and how to make it parallel focusing by the method of Suster's okay so in order to do that we need to have this sodium light this is the sodium light uh, box in the inside the box we have the sodium light this is this is the spectrometer and this is the prism and you can see this is the prism ah, this is called the collimator and this is the collimator screw by moving this we can adjust the focus of the collimator and this is called the telescope and here this is the telescope focusing screw by which we can move the focus of the telescope and this is the prism table by rotating this we can move the rays incident angle and this is the table um, where a scale is fitted in 180 degree there are two scales here one one here and we can make measurements with help of these scales so let's uh, look into it in gory details So to make level first we need a spirit level so this is the spirit level as you can see the bubbles are moving if you set it horizontal then the bubble which is now moving as I move my hand should be at the middle point of the two dots okay so with the help of this by putting on the table or on the prism table and then on the top of the telescope and then on the top of the collimator we can move the various screws like in prism table these are the three screws there are three screws like this one two and this is the third so by the help of this three screw we can make horizontal the prism table and there are certain other screws like for telescope this is a leveling screw and here collimator we have another one so with the help of them we can make the leveling of the whole spectrometer so that the light which comes should be at the same plane when we will see through the telescope spirit level here we can adjust it by rotating the screw in left and right where the bubble comes into the center that will be the horizon of this level then you have to go to this level and in order to have that level we want to show you right as you can just see these are the three pins here here and here so we should adjust this first we will put the spirit level 
in the line joining these two screw and then we will move them so that the bubble comes in the center then keep it vertical to that imaginary line and then do the same thing by the third screw and then do it for these two parallel to the line joining this two screw and then adjust them by this two screw and make it at the center then make it vertical to that line and you root the third screw and make it at the center and this is how and then you do the same with this two screw and the vertical of this make it vertical and then do it with this this will make the entire prism table horizontal okay so then what do you have to do you have to go to the collimator then put it on the collimator and by moving this collimator screw which is beneath the collimator you can make the collimator horizontal so that the ray from the sodium light box comes horizontally and then you do the same thing with the telescope and put this spirit level on the telescope and then rotate the screw telescope screw which is beneath the telescope and adjust the bubble at the center so that it also makes horizontal now as you can see this is the prism this is the base and this side and this side these two side are the reflecting and refracting faces of this prism now what we will do we will put the prism In this way so that the base remains at one side of uh, this collimator and the ray coming from the collimator hits on one surface one refracting surface and the, then the refracted ray will come directly from this face here so that by naked eye you can see this collimator image and the spectrum within this uh, collimator face uh, from this side of the prism so as you can see the light coming from the collimator hitting one refracting surface of the prism it coming out from the other side of this refracting face of the prism and we can see the part of this collimator here so this 
part you can see here as by varying you see this is the yellow light and the, within the collimator you can see from the naked eye so this you can see from your by your naked eye now what you have to do this is the deviated light which is coming towards the camera and now what we will do we will just take the telescope in the direction of this so that from the telescope we can see this so this is what you see from the telescope you see the yellow line that's we have focused the yellow line which is uh, coming from the prism and we can see it through the telescope and now we have to make it a focusing for parallel rays which is the case for uh, useful for the Fraunhofer diffraction case uh, where both the observer and the light source uh, used to stay uh, at infinite distance from each other so here we need to make uh, the rays entering the collimator uh, parallel as well as the rays entering the telescope and uh, coming through it uh, also parallel and it focuses on the plane focal plane of this uh, eyepiece uh, this is a uh, eyepiece of uh, this spectrometer with uh, 10 times magnification it's a Ramstein type eyepiece now what we will do we have to uh, do the Schuster's technique for this and to do that what we have to do that just see with the movement of the prism table the light bounces you see i'm turning the table in one direction and the light bounces from a particular position now you see i'm just doing the reverse it's in the clockwise direction i'm rotating the prism table and at a point it bounces and goes from counterclockwise direction to clockwise direction you see as you can so this happens and the point from where the spectrum is bouncing back this point is called the minimum deviation position for this yellow light and we have to set the cross where it this point no so So to do Schuster's, first of all, we start with 
we will keep the light slightly uh, on the right side of the minimum deviation position and in this position you can see that this second phase of the prism from where the rays are emerging to the telescope it is near to us so in this case we will focus the ray with the help of this focusing screw on the telescope and then what we will do after focusing we will get a sharp spectrum here it is not easy to see through a camera though uh, but in naked eye when you see through this uh, eyepiece you will observe it very sharp while rotating this focusing screw at a particular point and leave the screw at that point then you just rotate the table in the clockwise direction and you see after bouncing that we keep the ray at the same position where it was at first now as you can see this second face of the prism is now far from the telescope which is it is near to the collimator so now what we will do we will use this focusing screw on the telescope to focus this light and to make it sharp very sharp and at one point we will see that is the sharpest but uh, you can notice that the image formed when focusing through telescope is thinner uh, while the case in the um, collimator is slightly uh, thicker but it does not matter uh, we have to stick at the sharpest point in both cases and then what do you do you just turn the table counterclockwise and set the light after bouncing at the same point where it was initially and then do the same thing with the telescope now you focus this ray and just focus it and then after focusing it rotate the prism table one second clockwise then you do the same thing with the collimator screw and focus it and then you repeat it for let's say six seven times and gradually you have to rotate it very smaller and smaller and after six seven times practically you will see that at the both side these rays are already focused and you don't have to move either of this screws so uh, this makes the whole system the spectrometer um, parallel focused for parallel rays that's what is the Suster's method and this is done for the parallel focusing for the spectrometer hope this will help you for making the parallel ray focusing thank you okay so this is a close look how to do the Suster's technique 
so here we have actually uh, taken this spectrum at the right side of the crosswear now the second uh, face of the prism is closer to the telescope so we will now uh, focus this through the telescope so you can see by adjusting the focusing screw of the telescope you can change the focal plane and at the point where the image is the sharpest you just leave the screw now we will rotate the prism table clockwise so here you can see the light bounces back and comes to the initial point and in this position the second face of the prism is far from the telescope so now we will adjust the focal plane with the help of the collimator focusing screw so as you can see it makes it when we adjust it through the collimator screw we can make it focus at a plane and then we rotate the prism table anti-clockwise and it when it comes to the initial point we again adjust the focal plane through the telescope when when it is sharp then we leave the screw and rotate the prism table clockwise and leave the spectrum at initial position and then focus it through the collimator screw so you can see that the width of the spectrum in the collimator when we are adjusting it through the collimator screw is slightly thicker than when we are doing it through the telescope it's slightly thinner so in this way if we repeat this technique six seven times then it will be adjusted through this technique and the telescope will get parallelly focused uh, and this is called the Suster's technique.